Oh, hey, Time Digger here. I didn't see you there. Ah, there's nothing like being in the outdoors, under the glow of the moon and the stars, campfire crackling. It just can't get any better than this. Or can it? Well, I suppose this is about as good time as any to tell a good old campfire story. And oh, I've got a good one. This is the story of why I chose a reindeer OC. Ah, jeez, that was corny. Okay, well, let's just get into it then. So why the heck did I choose to be a reindeer? And why didn't I just choose something a little more basic, something we actually see in the show? Well, as it turns out, I nearly did go with a Pegasus. My reasoning was that as a kid, my favorite superpower was flight, so it made sense for me to go Pegasus. However, as I stumbled through Equestria Daily and I found the OC pool, which, to sum it up, said most people had Pegasus OCs anyways. So from then on, I decided not to go with a Pegasus, since it seemed to be such a common choice. Now, one thing to note, I was planning on beginning this very channel at the same time. I was making sure everything was thought over, such as branding, names, topics, and videos, the works. It was high on my list to create an OC that everyone could point at and say, hey, that's Ty and Dega. It's always smart whenever you create a new YouTube channel to think of these things beforehand, especially things like channel branding. It never hurts to prepare. So anyways, it's important that you have an OC that stands out when regarding to the YouTube community. If you have something different and unique, people will remember that. So scratch that Pegasus idea and back to the drawing board for me. Okay, so my thought process went like this. Well, I'm Canadian, so let's start with that. Okay, what type of horse are common where I live? Well, nothing really specific, but we do have a lot of moose and deer. Now I'm gonna start off by saying that I have nothing against moose, but I'm just not a big fan of how they look. They just look kind of awkward to me. And no, 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 I'm not a mooseist. So I ended up going with deer. Great, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head in the YouTube community with a deer OC, so this will work fantastically. So I grabbed my pencil and white printer paper and began drawing my fresh new idea. And that's when things got violent. Well, not exactly. Let me explain. So when you watch MLP analysis videos, and if the video maker uses an OC, chances are that they're facing the side. This may be something you've already noticed, but perhaps haven't really given it much thought. The reason why we do this is because it makes it easier to draw and create multiple poses without too much trouble. So you're probably wondering why I'm saying this. Well, it's because for some strange reason, I could not, absolutely not, draw a dang deer using the sideways view. The antlers just end up looking like random lines or twisted and out of place. And so, our hero's adventure was over. Or was it? Coming from somewhere, I began to hear Christmas music. Whether it was due to the alcohol, the lack of sleep, or the fact that it was around Christmas time, it didn't matter. Because at that point, when the stars aligned, I knew what OC I should choose. Reindeer. Canada just so happens to be home to quite a large population of reindeer in the northern regions, so this made perfect sense, something that firmly relates to my country. With that idea in mind, I began sketching what you see on the screen right now, serviceable. But wait, what about the amulet? Well, the amulet was really just intended to add more character to the, well, character. I don't quite know what properties or abilities it has just yet, so I'm guessing we'll find out as time goes on. So there you have it. That ends the story of why I'm a reindeer. Now it's your turn. Do you have a story behind your OC? Then let me know about it in the comments below. I really want to hear it. Now before we officially end off, I just want to take this moment to properly thank you guys, all of you watching, for the amount of support you've given me in this very short time in this community. Honestly, I did not expect to get so much positive feedback so early on, so it's extremely motivating for me. Guys, words can't describe how much I appreciate this, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. But anyways, it's getting late, and I'm going to start heading off. I really hope you enjoyed this little story. If you did, then be sure to leave a like. As well, don't forget to subscribe. It's an excellent way of keeping up to date with what I do and helps support me all for free. So once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Ty and Dega, signing out.